Moja Coalition has accused the government of unconstitutional conduct in blocking their supporters from accessing Nairobi's central business district on day one of the resumption of anti-government protests. Now, the coalition announced a return to the streets on Thursday to pressure the government to address its demands, including the high cost of living. Ayub Abdikadir now reports. <laughs> Tear gas, explosions, commotion. Opposition lawmakers from the bicameral parliament soon found themselves engulfed. In clouds of tear gas after an attempt to present a petition at the Harambe House office of the president was deterred by a group of police officers. They later regrouped in Lovington from where they had planned to start their protests and meet the masses. The convoy of lawmakers snaked its way through Kawangware before branching off to Wayakiwe. A police roadblock forced the convoy to change course heading to Lemuru Road as three police officers trailed the leaders. The opposition lawmakers' this convoy, while fleeing with speed, branched off to Kiambu Road. At the Kiambu Road Junction, oh, no. the, Road Junction the opposition vehicle loaded with a sound system was forced to slow down. The driver parking it in a petrol station with the occupants under a hail of tear gas, taking refuge inside the petrol station manager's office to escape arrest while the area was engulfed in a tear gas smoke. At the Yaramugi Odinga Odinga Foundation, the opposition leadership among them principals Raila Odinga and Kalonzo Musioka in a news conference accused the police of brutality and violence, saying the Kenya Kwanzaa administration was trying to suspend the constitution. Instead of the free and democratic nation that the 2010 constitution sought to bequeath, Kenyans, Ruto is trying to reinvent a police state of the 1980s. The leader saying they will maintain pressure on the government with more protests set for Thursday this week. They also seek to deliver petitions to the IEBC on the integrity of last year's elections, the National Treasury on the financial state of the counties, the National Treasury on the financial state of the counties, and the Public Service Commission on state appointments. Our protests will resume on Thursday, the 4th of May. Same meeting, same offices, same petition, same people. The government maintains that they will not allow any demonstrations with or without notice. Ayub Abdikadir, Citizen TV.